Solve the following system of equations by elimination. 2x plus 3y equals negative 16, and 5x minus 10y equals 30. Here again, we're trying to reduce this system of two equations into one equation with one unknown. Unlike substitution, though, the way elimination does this is by adding the two equations when we can ensure that one of the variables will cancel in the addition, thus being eliminated. If you look at this system right now, if we added these two equations, neither of the variables would cancel because a 2 and a 5 don't cancel and a 3 and a negative 10 don't cancel. If it were a 3 and a negative 3, though, they would cancel. Or if it was a positive 2 and negative 2 on the x's, something like that would cancel. So what we need to do is make sure one of the variables lines up with coefficients that are the same magnitude and opposite signs, one positive, one negative. And we do this by multiplying one or both equations by something. Here, the easiest way to do this is going to be to multiply both equations by something. And what we can do is multiply the first equation by 5 and the second equation by 2, and then the coefficients of x will line up. In other words, 5 times 2 is 10, and 2 times 5 is 10. Now, we'll need to make one of them negative so that when we add, they cancel. So multiplying the first one by negative 5 and the second one by 2, we need to make sure that we multiply each term by that quantity, including the term that's on the other side of the equal sign. That's the most common one to miss, so watch out for that. In the first equation, negative 5 times 2, we have negative 10. Negative 5 times 3, we have negative 15. And negative 5 times negative 16, we have positive 80. The second equation, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times negative 10 is negative 20, and 2 times 30 is 60. Now, when we add these two equations, the x's will cancel because a negative 10x plus a positive 10x is 0x, or 0. Negative 15y plus negative 20y is negative 35y, and 80 plus 60 is 140. Now we've reduced the system to one equation with one unknown. We can solve this by dividing both sides by negative 35, and we get that y equals negative 4. Now, to solve for x, we simply substitute this, y equals negative 4, back into either one of the first two equations and solve for x. I'll take the first one, 2x plus 3. Now we know that y is negative 4, so we replace it with negative 4, and we have an equation just in terms of x. 2x minus 12 equals negative 16. Adding 12 to both sides, we get 2x equals negative 4. And then dividing by 2, we find that x is negative 2. Therefore, the point where these two lines cross is when x is negative 2 and y is negative 4.